one in 50 people in the United States are living with a potentially life-threatening condition and do not even know it. An estimated 6 million Americans have an unruptured brain aneurysm. Each year, 30,000 people will suffer from a ruptured brain aneurysm, and approximately half of those people will die as a result. Although relatively uncommon, a ruptured brain aneurysm is an extremely serious condition associated with a high rate of mortality and disability. A brain aneurysm, also called a saccular aneurysm or a berry aneurysm, is a small balloon-like outpouching off an artery in the brain. And what happens when an aneurysm rupture is that small balloon bursts, thereby leading to blood spilling into the brain or over the brain tissue underneath a lining of the brain. Because a rupture can happen to anyone without warning, medical experts agree that knowing the risk factors and symptoms is one way to save lives and lead to better outcomes. Researchers and doctors have identified several factors that they believe contribute to the formation of a brain aneurysm. Well, there are a number of factors that put a person at increased risk of a saccular aneurysm in the brain, and those include cigarette smoking, high blood pressure, a family history of aneurysm, and certain medical conditions also increase that risk. Also, women are at higher risk than men, and they also increase as we get older, so particularly over the age of 40. Now, there are also other aneurysms that can be caused by serious infections in the body, and also head trauma can lead to certain types of aneurysm as well. For those individuals at risk of developing or harboring an aneurysm, early detection is crucial to reduce the risk of rupture. Fortunately, through various non-invasive imaging tests, people at high risk can be easily identified. Detecting an aneurysm before it hemorrhages is key to avoiding death and disability from these lesions. When an aneurysm ruptures, approximately 50% of people don't survive that event, and of the survivors, a full third have severe deficits. Techniques to try to detect aneurysms prior to their rupture include MRI scans, CT scans, and angiography. These tests are then used to define which aneurysms should be treated and how they should be treated. Often called a silent killer, most unruptured aneurysms are completely asymptomatic. However, larger ones can often result in various neurological symptoms which should be immediately evaluated and treated by a doctor. Most people who have an unruptured intracranial aneurysm don't have any symptoms at all. But on occasion, an aneurysm can grow to the point that it presses on the brain tissue or some of the nerves in the brain. The type of symptoms that might be experienced at that point include blurred vision, double vision, pain in the eye or over the eye, weakness or change in sensation on one side of the body, or even a seizure. But again, most patients who have an unruptured intracranial aneurysm don't have any of these symptoms. Once an unruptured intracranial aneurysm is detected, there are a number of potential treatments. One is a neurosurgical treatment called clipping, in which a small metallic clip is placed on the aneurysm. Another option is aneurysm coiling, in which a small platinum coil is placed inside the aneurysm from within the artery. Still another option is observation with close follow-up with repeat imaging, and in that context, blood pressure control and smoking cessation is very important. When an aneurysm does erupt, it usually causes blood to escape into the spaces around the brain, causing sudden and serious symptoms which require immediate medical attention. When an aneurysm ruptures, it's usually a significant event. Patients develop the worst headache they've ever had in their life, nausea, vomiting, and bright lights bother their eyes. In addition, blurred vision and double vision, as well as stiff neck, can occur. When these symptoms are identified, it's critical to seek attention immediately. This can prevent a second rupture, which can occur in up to a third of a patient's during the first two weeks after an initial hemorrhage. As the world's only nonprofit organization dedicated solely to providing awareness, education, support, and research funding to reduce the number of aneurysm ruptures, the Brain Aneurysm Foundation was established in Boston in 1994. As the leading source of private funding of brain aneurysm research, the Foundation also supports improved treatments and technological advancements that will ultimately improve outcomes for patients with aneurysms. The Brain Aneurysm Foundation was established in 1994 
as a nonprofit organization to provide information to the general public regarding brain aneurysms. The mission includes education, research, support, and awareness. This was inspired by a patient who was diagnosed by an unruptured aneurysm in 1990. Surviving a ruptured brain aneurysm, or being diagnosed with one, is a life-changing experience. The Foundation also acts as a support network for patients and their families, providing information, resources, and an online community. The Foundation offers support in various ways. Our primary source of support is our website. Our website is there for the newly diagnosed, family members, and patients in recovery. There is an online component as well for patients to share their stories with others that have had a similar experience. We have almost 50 support groups in the United States and Canada. We have three educational booklets and two DVDs. And on a daily basis, we field multiple phone calls and emails. The support is critical not only for the patient, but also for their families, so they do not feel alone, can gather information, and share their stories. The Brain Aneurysm Foundation was absolutely critical um, to me and my family in coping with uh, the event of Joe's brain, ruptured brain aneurysm, uh, both in terms of understanding what had happened to him, uh, but also in dealing with the emotional, the physical, uh, the mental recovery process that would go on for a number of years. Uh, we just didn't know what to expect and they were invaluable in understanding. When I had my brain ears, it was a whole learning experience where uh, I had to learn how to walk and speak again. And that is when uh, the Brain in the Foundation got involved with me and to get involved with the support groups and uh, speak to other survivors where it helped me cope with the frustrations and the anxiety that I was going through. And now it's 10 years later and uh, it's time for me to give back to the foundation and help the survivors and families that are going through now. The Brain Aneurysm Foundation believes that the research being done today will save lives tomorrow. Money raised by the foundation is put to work to advance research, increase awareness, provide support, and ultimately save lives. Fundraising is essential to the foundation as it allows us to carry out our mission of education, support, awareness, and research funding. We plan to carry out our mission one day at a time, one event at a time, one newspaper article at a time, and one research grant at a time. The work of the foundation is a day-to-day -day dedication to the cause that has great rewards, but it is in the hands of our supporters to allow us to continue our success and growth. The Brain Aneurysm Foundation, together making a difference. To find out more, please visit www.bafound.org. This video was made possible with funding from Stryker.